Hello everyone. So in this lecture, my focus is to solve few questions related to the swaps. Uh, I know student face lots of difficulties uh, when it comes to solving the question of the swap. The concepts are quite easy to understand, but when you will apply those concepts in your questions, students are facing difficulty. Okay. So what I'm trying to take is I'm taking up few questions which are important as well as which are difficult here. So once you solve these questions, you will get the idea that uh, in future if you will get something similar or even something different, but you can use the concept, you can use the logic to do the calculation with respect to the question of swaps. Clear? Okay. So let us look at this first question. Okay. The first question is a bank entered into a five year 150 million annual pay labor based interest rate swap so this swap is going to be interest rate swap three year ago as the fixed rate see over here you have two parties a and b clear now three year ago as the fixed rate is 5.5 clear so let us assume that mr a is giving fixed that is 5.5 percent and mr b is giving floating mr b is giving floating interest rate clear okay? now the relevant discount rate see it is continuously compounded that means you have to use e to the power okay you have to use the term exponential for one year and two year obligations are 5.75 and 6.25 respectively a payment was just made so means if you have just now made the payment that means what your floating interest rate will reset and now you will know the next year reset date that is 5.75 percent clear a payment was just made what is the value of the swap what is the value of the swap now one more important point it has been initiated three years before okay like 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 three years have already passed you see three years ago that means what you have to take into account only the year 4 and 5 while calculating the value okay what is the value value means if i want to cancel the contract today if i want to cancel the contract today who will be the winner a will be the winner or b will be the winner who will receive the money so today i will take the pv of all the cash flow pv of all the cash flow clear suppose the pv of the cash flow for mr a is 100 dollars okay i'm just giving an example and the pv of the cash flow for mr b is 80 dollars in that situation who will pay the money who will pay the money we will pay the money to a we will pay the money to a clear this is what we have to calculate the pv of the future cash flow whenever you will see the word value that means you have to calculate the pv of the future value clear so now we know that two years left clear mr a will make the fixed payment of 5.5 percent of 150 million dollars that means if over here i'll draw the timeline that is four and five here how much mr a will make the payment 5.5% of 150 million dollars 5.5% of 150 million dollars how much it is going to be how much it is going to be it is going to be 8.25 million dollars 8.25 million dollars this is the amount which mr a will pay to mr b also here as well 8.25 8.25 Two five clear apart from that apart from that there will be an 150 dollars extra there will be 150 dollars extra that will be exchange that is the notional principle now over here very important you need to take the present value of these two values okay you need to take the present value of these two values so with the help of the exponential present value have already been calculated present value have already been calculated clear so this is the amount this is the amount which mr a is going to pay this is the amount which mr a is going to pay clear and at the because today you have already made the payment today you have already made the payment that means what what amount you are going to receive because if mr b is the floating mr b is floating that means today the rate changed today they have transferred their interest clear so everything settled down clear new settle uh, new settlement starts clear but today if you want to cancel your contract mr b will simply pay your notional principal mr b will simply pay your notional principal clear that is your 150 million dollars clear so this is the amount which mr a 
will have to pay and this is the amount which Mr. B have to pay. So what is the value of the swap? The difference of both of them, the difference of the both of them, which is equals to your, which is equals to your 2.56 million dollars, which is equals to your 2.56 million dollars. So uh, whenever you see this type of questions, specifically interest rate swap and they are asking you the value, simply calculate the first step is to calculate the what is the amount Mr. A, that is the fixed payer will pay, clear? Take the PP of that, okay. If this is a reset date, then whatever is the notional principal that you are going to receive from the Mr. B. So the difference of both of them is the value of the interest rate swap, clear? Okay, so now let us come to our question number two. Five years ago, an investment bank provided a 100 million loan to RMS construction. Means you can put it over as a bank. Bank have given the loan to RMS construction of 100 million dollars. The long uh, the loan has a floating rate of five percent plus one year lever rate. Okay, so the interest rate is five percent plus one year spread. Sorry, one year. It's not percent. One year spread lever spread. Clear? The interest is paid annually. Okay, and the last interest payment was paid on the last date of 2016. Clear that means uh, 31st 12 2016 they have made the payment of the interest. Below is the information available for the one year labor rates. What is the accrued interest as of 16707? That means seven months and 16 days if the bank and the client agreed to use the actual by 360 day count convention. So means over here your intention only is to calculate the accrued interest rate. That what is the amount of accrued interest rate on 100 million dollars they have provided you the lever rate now you need to do the calculation so now first thing you need to do is to calculate the number of days means starting from 1 1 2017 to 16 7 2017 because it's like actual by 360 okay actual by 360 so you have to calculate the actual number of days this is your first step clear now your second step is to identify which interest rate you are going to choose definitely i'm not going to choose this one okay it's very old rate and we know that in case of liver floating interest rate on the reset date whatever is the applicable rate for one year i have to choose that on the reset date what is the applicable rate for the next year i have to choose that that means what my interest rate is going to be 2.5 one percent my interest rate is going to be 2.1 percent clear so how many days how many days gap between them 197 197 how come you see uh put it uh, like this january february march april may june and july clear so over here you have 28 days over you have 31 then 30 then 31 then this one also 31 and this one 16 clear add them all you will get 197 sorry this one is going to be 30 okay so you will add them all you will get 197 days clear so now what is the amount 100 million dollars 100 million dollars clear multiplied with 197 divided by 360 multiplied with the interest rate that is your 2.1 plus 5 plus 5 that is you can say 7.1 percent okay 7.1 percent clear so now you just need to solve it so uh, when you solve this you will get the value of 3885277.80 that means your answer is b clear okay now let us take our third question okay copper industries is the fix pay fixed counterparty in a interest rate swap a and b let us assume a is a copper industry and they are paying fixed clear in an interest rate swap that means definitely he is paying floating clear the swap is based on the notional value of two million dollars okay and a copper receive a floating based on the six month hong kong okay just like we have the liber that is the Lon london interbank offer rate similarly we have the Hong Kong that is Hebo. Okay, this rate is from the Hong Kong interbank rate. Clear? So I know that what is the notional principle? It's 2 million. 
okay and it is based on the six month whatever is the six month uh, interest rate we have to use that now copper pays a fixed seven percent semi annually now we know that seven percent semi annually semi annually clear swap payment has just has been paid means now you have paid okay that means today is the reset date okay the swap has a remaining life of 18 months okay there are uh, three payments left from the side of the a three payments left clear three payments left that is 3.5 percent 3.5 percent 3.5 percent clear continuously compounded heber rates are given to you okay the heber rates are given to you which you have to use to calculate the present value to calculate the present value again they are asking you the value of the swap value of the swap clear but over here uh, remember continuously compounded clear over here also this is uh, the first question that your first payment of 8.25 have been uh, calculated the present value with the help of the 5.75 percent rate and the last payment pv calculated with the help of the 6.25 percent rate clear similarly similarly over here you have three payments okay you have three payments so this will be calculated with the help of the six month labor rate second with the help of the 6.8 percent labor rate and third with the help of the 7.5 percent labor rate so your first step is to calculate what is the what is the coupon value that is 3.5 percent of two million dollars which is equals to which is equals to how much seventy thousand dollars how much seventy thousand dollars so you can put over here seventy thousand then seventy thousand at two point uh, sorry two million plus seventy thousand dollars clear you need to take the pv of all clear this pv with the help of six point five percent this pv with the help of six point eight percent and this pv with the help of seven point five percent clear it's very easy to calculate it's very easy what you have to do what you have to do now the 6.5 percent is the annual rate 6.5 percent is the annual rate so you need to multiply half with it you need to multiply half with it 6.8 is an annual rate and you see it's 0 0.5 1 and 1.5 so do you need to multiply anything no you can multiply by one but this 75 per 7.5 percent is an annualized rate clear but you need to discount it for 1.5 years. So you need to multiply it with 1.5. E is to negative 0.07.5 multiply with 1.5. With this value, you need to multiply it with 2.07 million dollars. Clear? So from the fixed side, you get the present value which the copper limited have to pay. Which the copper limited have to pay. Clear? How much copper limited will receive? Two million dollars. How much I am going to receive? Two million dollars. How much I have to pay? One point nine eight million dollars. How much I will receive? Two million dollars. The difference between them is the value of the swap. The difference between them is the value of the swap. Clear? Okay. Now let us come to our question number four. A trader on the interest rate desk of the large bank entered into a customized two-year interest rate swap on thirty-first of July two thousand. 20, whose notional value is USD 7.5 million dollars. According to the term of the swap, the bank received an annual fixed rate of 2.3 percent. Say over here is the bank, over here is the customer. According to the sum of, uh, term of the swap, the bank received. Okay, the customer is paying fixed. Customer is paying fixed. How much? 2.3 percent. 2.3 percent annually. 2.3 percent annually. Okay, and paid an annual rate of SOPA as of the first day of the month plus 1.95%. So, what bank is paying? The bank is paying SOPA plus 1.95%. Clear? This is also the annualized rate. Clear? Payment are made every six months. That means there are break of four points. 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5 and 2 clear payments are made in every six months payments are made in and every six months so whatever is the interest rate that will be divided by two clear now the table below uh, displays the relevant sofa rate over the two year period assuming no default which of the following was the best estimate to the net amount that the bank paid or received over july 31st 2022 clear means 
they are asking what is the amount what is the net amount bank actually have paid or bank actually have received at the end of the contract clear or in short can i say they are asking us to calculate the value for the bank at the end of the term at the end of the term here so first of all first of all let us calculate the fixed amount which customer is paying the fixed amount which customer is paying that is 2.3 percent annually here but they are paying semi annually they are paying semi annually so you have to take the half of 2.3 percent you have to take the half of 2.3 percent that is 1.15 percent 1.15 percent of how much 7.5 million dollars this is the amount which customer is paying to the bank this is the amount which customer is paying to the bank clear okay so write down the amount amount paid by customer how much 0 0.86 sorry 0.086 million dollars here this is the amount paid by the customer then what is the amount paid by bank how much bank is uh, going to pay you see they are going to pay sofa plus 1.95 sofa plus 1.95 now on what date we are doing the transaction we are doing the transaction on 31st july 2022 clear and what is the nearest interest rate available to me first july 2022 that is 1.5 percent so 1.52 plus what is the fixed rate 1.95 and you need to take the semi annually clear so it will be divided by 2 how much it is going to be 1.52 plus 1.95 and that will be divided by 2 so it is going to be 1.735 percent 1.735 percent of the same amount clear what is the amount 7.5 million dollars clear just one minute so the amount is going to be 0 0.130125 write down dollars 0 0.130125 clear so over here who is the winner definitely the bank or the customer customer is the winner so you can write customer received extra how by how much 0 0.130125 minus 0 0.08625 it is coming how much 0.04 3875 million dollars clear or can you say this is the loss this is the loss to the bank or actually paid by the bank what they want to know estimate the net amount that the bank has paid or received yes they have paid how much they have paid 43875 so the answer is a clear see uh, you might be wondering that earlier we used to add that notional principle okay but those were the cases, the previous questions were the cases where we have closed the contract on the recent date, but we are not closing the contract in this situation. We have reached to the end of the contract and on the last date, we are identifying that who is the winner on the last date, who is the winner on the last date, clear? You try to understand that customer is paying a very high interest rate, 2.3%, 2.3%, clear? And uh, he is receiving what? He is receiving 1.95 plus the sofa rate, clear? If the sofa rate will increase, customer will be having huge amount of profit. If the sofa rate will remain low, customer will be having the huge amount of losses, clear? So if you look at the rates, interest rate, the interest rate till January 2022 were very low, were very low and customer is making the loss. But on the July, 1st of July 2022, the interest rate actually spiked okay that is actually benefited the customer that actually benefited the customer clear now very important how i choose 1.52 because you might be wondering sir we always take the labor rate or sofa rate whatever in the floating exchange rate we always take the rate on the settlement date clear and the last settlement date was 1st of january so why we haven't take 0.05 percent the reason is the question itself see if this line was not written in the question then i would not have taken 1.52 percent but now i have to take 1.52 percent because they have mentioned 
that you have to use the software of the first day of the month of payment in which month you are making the payment july what is the first day of that month july so you have to take the software rate of the first of july 2022 clear if this line was not written what i have to take i have to take 0.05 percent okay that is the rate on the reset date what is the reset date after 31st of july what is the reset date 1st of january again what is the reset date 31st of july here are you understanding the difference this is the whole difference by single word single line they can play the game with you you have to be attentive you have to reach, e read each and every word carefully okay so that easiest question you will not miss at all clear now coming to the last question for this particular lecture basically i have tried my level best to help you to uh, understand these questions very well you can take up the questions now after doing this questions clear okay question number five let us read this i request you first of all to read the question okay and pause the video try to solve it and then definitely i'll be helping you to solve it clear okay so i presume that uh, you have done the question and uh, if you have got the right answer b then you can move ahead okay if you want to listen it no issues but for those who are unable to solve it i request you to please be with the video okay so sb okay sb entered into a two years interest rate swap on 9 august 2014 in which it receives okay sb is receiving four percent fixed here yeah. and they are paying the liver plus 1.2 percent they are paying what liver plus spread of 1.2 percent what is the notional principal 6.5 million dollars payment were to be made every six month the table below displays the interest rate six month liver over the two year period assuming that there is no default how much sb receive on 9 august 2000 16 that means on the end date that means on the last date of the contract clear so uh, this part is very easy to calculate that how much you are going to receive that is uh, two percent because six months so four will become two percent of what amount 6.5 million dollars here uh, once you'll solve this you will get the value of uh yeah this one 130 000 here now when you are paying liver plus 1.2 which rate you are going to choose are you going to choose this rate no clear we have to choose the reset interest rate i have explained this in the previous lecture that if nothing has been mentioned we have to use the interest rate the liver rate on the last reset date the last reset date was 9th of february so we have to use 0 0.39 0 0.39 plus 1.2 divided by 2 multiplied with 6.5 million dollars how much you are going to pay 51,000 here you are receiving 130,000 dollars you are paying 51,675 so how much you are receiving extra the difference of that that is 78,325 clear so your answer is going to be B this is your answer clear so in this lecture I have tried my level best to pick up different types of questions to explain you each and every point in detail now uh, make sure you will practice the question and you will get the grip over the uh, concepts of how to solve the swap related questions definitely because over here i i know that once you have completed the lectures you have the good understanding of the what is swap what is interest rate swap currency swap everything you have the good grip clear but now when you are moving ahead with respect to some difficult questions yes you are uh, backstepping but after this lecture you will be having the good understanding with respect to the questions of swaps clear and these all five questions are very important exam standard questions so have a practice you will get the good grip clear so over here i am ending this lecture thank you